Welcome to The Long Reviewer. My name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. And in today's episode is a follow-up video to my iPhone 12 Pro Max display. So I picked up my iPhone 12 Pro Max uh, during the first week of launch in November, and I did two videos on it. The first video was how I noticed the display was a lot more yellow or a warmer color, even with True Tone turned off. And in that video, I have quite a lot of views, and a lot of people are saying the exact same thing, and how the color seem washed out or the text feels washed out as well. And then my second video I did was um, my conversation with Apple support on it and acknowledging that they do recognize there is an issue, but I can't go and return it and they're still trying to figure it out. In those two videos about my iPhone 12 Pro display, I started getting comments from viewers about a green hue or green flicker when it was in dark mode or when it was completely black background. Um, fortunately, I didn't have that issue, so I couldn't really comment on that. As I was doing research, it is a known issue with iPhone 12 models with the green flicker. I have good news for you guys. Apple acknowledged it was a problem, and they have a software update in iOS 14.5 to fix the issue for you. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the beta version of iOS 14.5. There Currently, there's no release date for it yet. However, if the green flicker is really bugging you, um, you do have the ability to install the beta version to address that issue. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download the beta version of iOS 14.5. I'm going to show you how to install it and set it up. And then I'm also going to do a comparison for the yellow hue issue. I know specifically Apple was talking about the green issue, uh, but I also was curious to see if it maybe fixed or did some kind of color calibration to the yellow hue issue on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I'm going to do a comparison uh, as well. So just a warning before you decide to install iOS 14.5 beta onto your iPhone 12 to fix the green hue and flicker issue. Uh, it is beta, which means it has not been completely tested yet, uh, has not been given what they call a gold copy for it to be released yet. So you might have some bugs if you do install um, the iOS update. So just be wary of that. Uh, but if you do want to go ahead and install it, continue with the rest of the video and I'll show you the steps on how to do it. As you're watching, you find the video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. Before you install the iOS 14.5 beta, make sure you back up your phone. This will allow you to restore your phone if the iOS 14.5 fails or you start experiencing bugs on your phone. You can see here I did the latest backup, which was at 8.09 p.m. and it's stored on my computer, so I have a backup just in case I need to do a restore. Step one, open Safari on your phone. Step two, go to the website betaprofiles.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. Step three, scroll down and select iOS beta profile download. Step four, a disclaimer comes up and you'll be part of the Apple developer program. So after you read that, just click download anyways. Step five, it says this website is trying to download a configuration pile. Do you want to allow this? Click yeah, allow. It says after profile is downloaded, step six is just to click close. Here you can scroll down to see the next steps. So this is kind of handy. Uh, if you don't have the YouTube uh, video handy, you can just scroll through the instructions here. It tells you how to do it. Step seven, go to settings. Step eight, click profile downloaded. Step nine, uh, say you install the beta software profile. It's going to ask you to enter your passcode. It's going to make you read this consent and then hit install. And then after you hit the downloaded profile, you want to hit restart. So after your phone has restarted, go to settings. And then scroll down, go to general. And then click software update.
Now it's going to say the iOS 14.5 developer beta is available, so click download and install. Your phone will restart and it will boot up to iOS 14.5. If you do want to double check, you can go back into settings, click software update, and then here you can see the version it does say it is in 14.5. Okay, so for tests, I decided to see if it does fix the yellow hue after I install it. So I'm comparing the phone of the XX Max versus the 12 Pro Max. I have True Tone turned off, brightness set to the highest level, and Dark Mode is turned off. So I open up the Notes program, and it's hard to tell here, but actually through the naked eye and not through the camera, uh, you can still see the 12 Pro Max is still has a yellow hue compared against the XX Max or the 10s Max. So here I'm going to turn on the dark mode and uh, go back to the notes and you can see that my 12 Pro Max is fine. There is no green tint or flicker but I didn't have that issue before. As you can see from the footage, the iOS 12 Pro Max compared to my 10x Max, the iPhone 12 Pro Max unfortunately still displays a yellow hue or a warmer color. Uh, unfortunately, iOS 14.5 beta did not resolve that issue at all. I'm hoping since Apple recognized the green tint uh, flicker was an issue and they could resolve it software, I'm hoping that enough voices and people complaining about the yellow hue that they will do something about that in a future firmware update, maybe 14.6. Oh, when could hope anyways, hopefully they do address it. I would really appreciate Apple if you did that. Stay tuned for my next video. I am going to do a supplementary video. I'm going to update iOS, uh, my watch OS to 7.4 and that's going to allow me to unlock my phone while wearing a mask with the Apple Watch. Since I have the beta installed anyways, I'm just going to do that demo for the Apple Watch as well. So stay tuned for that next video. All right, if you have any questions, comments, leave it down below. Thank you guys for watching and until next time.